President Trump and Joe Biden just two hours away from their first debate. Polls show most voters don't plan to change their minds, but in a close race, it could help determine the outcome. KFTM's Victoria White reports on what Democrats and Republicans here in Jefferson County believe their candidate must do tonight to win the debate. Donald Trump and Joe Biden face off for the first time Tuesday on the televised debate stage. Each carries distinctive strengths. Jefferson County Democratic Party Chair Joseph Trahan says one of Biden's strong points is his varied experience and his ability to work across the aisle, build a consensus and establish bipartisan legislation that can be passed through both chambers of Congress. Jefferson County Republican Party Chair Judy Nichols says one priority for the president should be the economy. Here in Southeast Texas, he unleashed an energy renaissance that we hadn't seen in 50 years. And to highlight what he's done while in office. Well, he's got more accomplished in three years than most presidents get accomplished in eight. She cites criminal justice reform and what the president has described as record low unemployment rates among blacks and Hispanics. And it's going to be wonderful to watch our president tout his three year record of success and, and hold it up to the, his opponent's 47 year record of non productivity. Trahan is looking to see Biden emerge with empathy, hold President Trump accountable, and provide a contrasting tone on the campaign trail. I expect him to talk about the need for our nation to undergo a healing, a process of unity rather than division, talking about health care and improving access to the most vulnerable populations. And address issues such as the post-coronavirus economy and the tax system. I think this will help people on the fence determine who is most prepared to take on the presidency. Changing minds or reinforcing support with election day a little more than a month away. In Jefferson County, Victoria White, KFDM 6 News. The debate begins tonight at 8 o'clock right here on KFDM. Stick around because we have a correspondent from Sinclair Broadcasting live at the debate speaking with us. And of course, we'll have reaction at 10 o'clock.